Welcome back everybody, Streamer Mind here. Today we are going to play Dark Souls 1, but we're gonna do it fast. Obviously, I am no speedrunner, but I wanted to see how fast I could beat Dark Souls in a glitchless any percent run. So don't expect any mind-blowing skips or wrong warps. The goal is to just finish the game as fast as possible by killing all the bosses required to beat it. I will certainly not break any world records today, but my goal is to try and beat the game in under 2 hours. If you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel, as I am trying to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And without further ado, let's jump straight into this. We begin with the character creation. I pick the most appropriate name, Hunter as my starting class, Master Key as my Christmas present, Jubal and Katarina to run faster, and I woke up in the Northern Asylum, picked up the short sword, talked to a dying Oscar for the Estes flask and the keys, got the short bow and arrows, and took the plunge on the Asylum Demon, and then finished him off like he was somebody's uncle at a Thanksgiving party. In Firelink Shrine, I got my hands on the firebombs, the homeward bones, and went down the elevator for New Londa Ruins. Here I picked up some souls, ran past these ghosts, stayed as close to the wall to get this asshole to turn right to be able to slip through the doorway, enter the fog wall and ignore all the enemies coming to kill me, and stopped in this spot right here, quit out to reset the enemies, aimed my bow all the way above Ingvard's head, and started chucking my firebombs. I made the mistake though of throwing all of the ones I picked up, and this will be a problem for later. I then finished him with the arrows and obtained the key to the seal. I jumped over these stairs like an absolute pro, drained the swamp, said hello to Draco Malfoy and went up the ladder without a care in the world and picked up the red tear stone ring. I then got naked and took a leap of faith and somehow survived the lightning blast. Had a drink on the house to relieve my stress, ran past the chicken, lit the bonfire and repeated this whole process until I finally got the black knight to drop his halberd. I then arrived in Blighttown, and here I picked up the three large souls in the swamp, then boned the hell out of there, and after that I killed the crystal lizard for the twinkling titanite, said hello to my high school crush, popped all the consumable souls I had, and leveled up my strength index to 22 and 18 respectively. Upgraded the halberd to plus one, and got barbecued by the gargoyles not once, but twice. I managed to kill them on my third try, and I don't know why, but during all of these attempts, the gargoyles were the most problematic bosses. I was anxious of going fast, and this led me to some pretty hilarious and avoidable mistakes. Anyways, I then rang the first bell, and homeward bone to Firelink, where I killed Lotric for the fat ring and some humanities. I went straight to Quilag and immediately almost got caught from her lava spouting jump attack, but luckily I was able to recover. When the spider is puking lava is your best chance for attack. Watch out for her AoEs and remember that she can spit her projectiles onto her sides as well. I didn't die here and was able to inflict the final blow. And just like that, I got the sexy spider lady on my first try. I then rang the second bell. Uh, no, I did not see Quilag. I'm very sorry. I used the souls to level up some vitality and arrived in Sen's funny little king house and here I avoided all of the sharp objects as well as the boulders and safely made it to the bonfire all in one piece. I managed to stagger the iron golem but was unable to knock him off the arena. But oh well, good enough I guess. I finished him off while he was still doing my drunk father's impression. In An Orlando, I got some painting guardians to unalive themselves and timidly was able to make this jump, saving me countless seconds on this run. I then got rid of the archer with ease, lit the bonfire and kindled its flame and I was ready for the dynamic duo. I actually needed Ornstein to do his leap attack at the beginning of the fight, so I quit out until I got the right RNG. I wanted this particular attack because it would allow me to hit him a few times without worrying of finding Smaug's big hammer up my arse. Trying to separate them is crucial as you can see from the footage, and the chances of getting ganked are really high. Anyways, once Ornstein goes to meet his god, the fight gets significantly easier. Just run into Smaug's attacks whenever he charges you. Don't stay too close for too long in order to avoid his butt slam and remember that he staggers every 3 hits. And just like that, the hardest boss in the base game goes down on my first try. I unfortunately did not have any time to glaze at the amazing chest ahead. I got the Lord Vessel and bought Twinkling Titanites from the blacksmith and upgraded to plus 5 my halberd. I then picked up Havel's armor and forgot to place the Lord Vessel. After placing the damn cereal bowl, I killed the hogs in the archives, unsuccessfully tried the duke skip a few times before giving up, and went through the normal way. I then found a new way to go down the stairs. 
got killed by the man serpent things more times than I would care to admit before picking up the key. I did all the shenanigans in Duke's archives, unlocked the shortcut, lit the bonfire and then got cursed by Seath like a noob. Ignored the curse and died once again, but managed to kill him on my third try. I bought a purging stone from Oswald and found a new shortcut to the bonfire. Catacombs was next, so I unlocked the door, skipped the entire area because I didn't buy this game to actually play it, first tried the hardest boss and arrived in the tomb of the giants and lit the bonfire. Got kicked by Patches and got the Skull Lantern, Homeward Bone back to the bonfire, killed Patches for his humanities and I then killed Nito on my first try, ignoring his skeleton friends thanks to Havel's armor. I then returned to Firelink, had to put down Andre unfortunately to get the Crest of Artorias for free because I am a cheap f Also I had to kill a dog and my god this run is a Greek tragedy. Got the Covenant of Artorias and the Hornet's Ring, prepared for Four Kings by dressing up and jumped straight into the Void and Unknown Abyss. Fortunately, Havels completely breaks this fight. <clears throat> I mean, the four kings are a DPS fight, so killing them fast is mandatory for success. And the four weirdos finally go down on my second try. I then return to Blighttown, broke my glitchless rule by using the dupe glitch to duplicate humanities, offered 30 of these humanities to the spider covenant to open the shortcut to Lost Isolith, cheese the cheeseful discharge, and for the first time I got caught and killed by this were wasting me a lot of time as I was sent back all the way to the Quilex Domain bonfire. This happened twice, but on the second time I was able to quit out before dying. I opened up the shortcut and this is where everything went downhill. As I said before, I used all of my firebombs on Ingvard in New Londo, meaning I would have to defeat Bed of Chaos the normal way. First orb goes out without any issues as always, but then... And yes. Quilex Domain was my last bonfire, so I had to run all the way back to the arena. In order to prevent this, I lit the bonfire in the Doom and Ruins, then I got cooked by Quilana, and I was able to then shut down the second orb finally, and then died a few more times trying to reach the branch that would lead me to the actual bug. What a fun boss fight. I was finally able to get this on my fourth attempt, and I punched this stupid bug with all the rage I've been holding against this boss in the past few years. And one would think that Bed of Chaos was the last wall to climb, right? No, you would be mistaken, as Gwyn for some reason killed me three more times. I have to admit, I underestimated Gwyn due to my false perception of him being easy, but when you're on a time limit, every enemy can become deadly. Anyways, I was able to defeat him on my fourth attempt and my final time was 2 hours and 35 minutes and 53 seconds. I could do better. So I created a new character, plunged the Asylum Demon, skipped the RTSR route to get the Halberd quicker since I never actually used the ring in the last run, got all the souls on my way towards Darkroom Basin, killed the Knight and obtained the Halberd, picked up the Grass Crest Shield, got the Twin Titanite, arrived in Undead Parish, unlocked the shortcut to Firelink, got the large soul in Blighttown and attempted the Gargoyles, but I got killed a few times in the room leading up to the arena. As I stated before, the Gargoyles fight imposed probably one of the biggest challenges in this run. My vitality was low, the RNG was horrible, and I was so anxious of making mistakes that I would end up making them anyways. I was able to kill them eventually, but all of these deaths so early on in the run would mean that I would have to play perfectly for the rest of the game. After Gargoyles, I gave Blotrick the Spartan treatment and got the Fat Ring and Humanities. I first tried Quileg without breaking a sweat and rang the second bell, before Homeward boning back to the bonfire. I upgraded the Halberd to plus two, got through Sense Fortress straight to the Iron Golem without any issues and finished him off with ease. Arrived in the City of Gods, dispatched the infamous Archer, lit the bonfire and this time I picked the armor as well as the Occult Club on my way to the Blacksmith to upgrade the Halberd to plus four. And first try Snorlax and Pikachu.
This time I actually remembered to place the Lord Vessel, wasted some time trying to duke skip again before giving up and accepting my destiny, and I then solved all the puzzles in Duke's archives. And I then spent three minutes chasing Seath's left tentacle, avoiding getting cursed at all costs. And I then upgraded to plus 5, remember to go back to the giant blacksmith to reverse the occult club into a divine club, killed Pinwheel while sweating hoping I wouldn't get cooked by his fireballs and first tried Nito. First tried Sif as well, killed Ingvard making sure to save some firebombs for Bed of Chaos and first tried the Four Kings. Returned to everyone's favorite sewer, offered 30 humanities to the Daughter of Chaos Covenant, cheesed Ceaseless Discharge as per usual and got ready to face my biggest fear. So I ran towards the middle of the arena, stopped at this tile right here, aimed my bow on this branch on the right side and on this branch on the left. I then chucked my firebomb and immediately moved the camera towards the other branch, skipped the cutscene and aligned my crosser with the branch and chucked the second firebomb, activating the second cutscene. After skipping the scene, I ran toward the bug as fast as possible, like you are seeing in the footage right now. And you have to run fast because the Battle of Chaos can still hit you with some bullshit as it did to me, almost cooking me for good on the last second. Remember, you only have one attempt at doing this. Anyways, my time so far was 1 hour 57 minutes and 29 seconds, meaning I had 2 minutes and a half to beat Gwyn and finish the game. But unfortunately, I died at the last second. I was able to defeat him on my second try, but that wasn't enough and I finished the run at 2 hours and 3 minutes. So, I swallowed my pride harder than Mia Khalifa ever swallowed anything, created a new character and this time I was able to first try Gargoyles. The RNG gods were being good to me so far on this run. I first tried Quilag and I then almost got kicked off the edge from the Iron Golem but fortunately I was able to quit out on time and killed him quickly on my first attempt. I then ran through the ceiling of An Orlando, landing this jump like an absolute chad, got Havel's armor and the occult club, bought Twinkling Titanites to upgrade to plus 4, reversed the occult club to a divine weapon so I wouldn't have to come back and saved up some time. This was definitely the fight where I had the most problems with Ornstein and Smau due to bad RNG and bad placement on my behalf. But nonetheless, I was able to first try the fight again for the third time in a row. This time I did not attempt Duke Skip, not even once, to save up as much time as possible as I knew I wouldn't be able to nail it. And I then first tried Seed, using the right tentacle strategy. Killed Pinwheel, no hit like I was Gino Machino. Got killed by Patches so I had to take my revenge. Use the blocking strategy to avoid Nito's toxic blade attack and kill the Lord of Death, probably the easiest of the four Lord Souls. I then lost a few boxing matches with Andre before putting him to sleep forever, killed a Sith again and did not cry this time, first tried the Four Kings, cheesed the Bat of Chaos once more and I will leave the footage because watching me cheesing this shit of a boss is just too satisfying. And it was time to first try Grandpa. I practically played 
perfectly this run. And my final time was 1 hour 43 minutes and 1 second. And my goal to beat Dark Souls in under 2 hours was achieved. And I could finally rest. As usually guys, if you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Let me know in the comments the thousand way I could have beat the game faster. And please like the video if you did enjoy it. Thank you again for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.